So, I don't know what's been going on with me the last couple days, but it's been really weird. Um, Saturday, by the end of the day, I had like absolutely no energy, which is odd for me. Um, I haven't really been eating pr properly lately, or like the way I would like to be lately. So, um, but unfortunately, I haven't been on grocery shopping in a little while, so it's been kind of like a McDoubles and eating out and uh, cereal and other various foods that I can find around the house. So it's been difficult for the last couple of weeks. Anyway, um, I'm going to start getting back on track. I'm going to go start doing the gym tonight. And uh, yeah, um, I fell asleep on the couch again today when I was reviewing, uh, when I started watching Ride of the Zombies. And I didn't wake up till 1.30, took the dog out, had a shower. So I'm going to finish that now. I'm currently uploading um, uh, public uh, my Public Enemies review, and then I'm going to do the Shoot'em Up review. And I'm eating a bowl of Fruit Loops right now because I am a giant man child. If you don't know me, now you do. Now you know more about me than you did before. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to talk about right now. Um, I guess you guys know that this is going to be coming to you guys on Wednesday when I do my uh, Logan Noir review because I did say that I was going to do that. So that will be in this video as well, because I want to do that for Wednesday. So, and then Pacific Rim is going to be on Tuesday. But by the time you guys see this video, it'll already be uploaded. Crossing my fingers that I'm not sleeping really weirdly the rest of this week. Uh, I do have Thursday night off though, so that'll make things a little easier on me hopefully. So I can get uh, some stuff done on Thursday that I wanted to do this week. And yeah. So, crossing my fingers, guys, that I get to do everything. I know I've been behind schedule with a couple of the videos, so I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, I haven't been reading again this week, because uh, I just don't know why. I can't seem to find the time for it, but I will get that review done. And I've also, I almost forgot that I was supposed to do a review of this over here with Amanda. And I know I've been promising a... Moana review for a long time, so I think Amanda and I will probably rewatch that this weekend, and uh, we'll do a review of that as well. And uh, don't worry, guys, I'm still gonna do a review of the Death Notebook and um the television show, although they may be separate. But I will try to finish this Walking Dead book before I do that. So everything that I've promised is gonna come. Um, also, I'm gonna try to get the Brookie video set up for Friday. If I can't get it done, it's still going to be done, no matter what, because I have bought the ingredients and I want to get that done. I just have to uh, make sure that it's a oh, just an unbusy weekend, because my weekends have been packed full in the uh, last few weeks with uh, helping people out and uh, other things. So yeah, I'm going to try to find a, I'm going to try to free up a weekend, hopefully. Um, and do that Brookie video. If I can get it done this Friday, that would be awesome. Or or Saturday, either this Friday or Saturday. Um, hopefully I'm not completely drained of energy this weekend because I don't know what's been going on. I think maybe I'm, I was sick or something because I've been having uh, like uh, pains in my stomach. I know it was just gas pains, but it was still really painful to go through for a few days. So maybe that's why I didn't feel like doing anything. Um, anyway... Uh, we'll just leave this little clip off here, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys on Wednesday with a review of Logan Noir. So I'm back here at the Hope Hall again. Uh, I'm still going to do a review of uh, Logan Noir for you guys this morning. I have been really tired the last couple days, and I don't know why. I know the uh, pains in my stomach have come back again. They were gone yesterday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Jeez. They were gone yesterday, and now they're back. But uh, yeah, I'm doing a uh, shoot this morning. That's going to be over 9,000, if you know what that means. Um, it has quit snowing, but there is still uh, plenty of snow on the ground. So now we're just waiting, or now I'm just waiting for it to warm up. So I can actually bring you guys more vlogs instead of just vlogs slash reviews. Because I want to start doing just plain vlogs again for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to try to uh, get that done as soon as it warms up here. It's, it's so cold out that you go out for like a few seconds and yeah, you're freezing. So it, it's, it's still ridiculously cold out and uh, yeah, that's, that's Canada for you. So uh, 
well, I'm going to be doing a photo shoot with a couple of buddies that I follow on Instagram. So go over there and check that out today because I'll repost all of the uh, photos from this morning and give their uh, Instagram um, pages a shout out as well. So go check that out. And uh, yeah, I just this is this is going to be the intro. So without further ado, let's just roll the intro and get into this review. <laughs> So uh, yesterday I reviewed, uh, sorry, Logan Noir, the film Black and White. Um, this definitely gave the film uh, more of an eerie feeling, especially in some scenes I actually got goosebumps just because I feel like the black and white brought those scenes to life a little more. And uh, you actually, I actually felt more connected with the characters in black and white as opposed to in color. So I would actually like to watch the film in black and white again just because... Uh, of that aspect it definitely brought a different feel to the film um especially the scene where they're on the farm and uh x24 comes along and uh terrorizes uh the family that they found on the highway when they get run off the highway um that scene definitely was a lot creepier in black and white and uh more well done because it showed like the dark and light better on their faces to show that neither of them were really 100% good or bad. They have their good and their bad sides. Um, but I guess the experiment, um, now that I'm understanding a little bit more, the X-24 experiment was basically taking all of uh, Logan's rage and just building it into one entity. So that's basically how uh, that one was controlled. It was uh, harder to control because it was just all of Logan's rage to so like the berserker type the berserker type attack that he can go into basically he's almost at that stage in the uh, x24 version that they've created of him um, and the scene where he dies was even a little bit more uh, touching in black and white I suppose um, made it made you like I said the, there were scenes that made you feel more connected and that scene kind of made, it definitely made you feel more connected to the characters in black and white as opposed to color. I don't know why, but it just, it did for some reason. Um, I just suppose maybe because those scenes probably seemed like they could have actually been done in black and white in the actual, like, regular movie. So I suppose some of the scenes were meant for black and white. Like, even the scene uh, where... Uh, Laura's coming out and holding the head and she tosses it to the um, guys from oh god what is the name of the I'm trying to remember the name of the uh... anyway when she tosses it to the soldiers I can't remember the name of the company I can I never can for some reason I'm not sure why uh, and as I said I would find out his uh real name that's at the beginning of the film. So his real name is uh, James Howlett. That's his real name. And uh, the professor that created X-24 actually calls him that before Logan shoots him and then uh, has to fight himself again at the end of the movie. Um, the, the mutants who had powers were kind of almost like the old mutants, but I'd have to go back and watch the original films again just to kind of get a better understanding of uh, what powers they had but like telekinesis and electricity so obviously I think one of the kids is probably uh, basically like Storm because uh, there were definitely powers from all the old X-Men in these children um, yeah but like I said before I would definitely like to see a movie of uh, as to where these children go and uh, this is definitely going to be a good way to end off Logan and uh, and Wolverine and definitely a good way to bring in a future generation of X-Men so I can't wait to see what happens with that um, but yeah even the uh, even the scene between the two of them in the car when he when she uh, takes him to the hospital even that was a uh, I felt more deeply connected with that scene too in black and white as opposed to because he finally finds out she can talk 
and he it's it was it was comical, but it, you know, I think that's the moment when they really um when Logan really realizes that he has to take her and save her and yeah, hope for the hope for the best. Um the scene in the woods where Logan takes the uh medicine to make him better and stronger and faster again and heal quicker. Um, I know it doesn't last long in that scene, but, uh, yeah, that scene even looked a lot more brutal in black and white as opposed to in color. Like, some of these scenes could have been done in black and white in the original film, like I've said, and it would have actually worked switching it back and forth. Um, yeah, I would say. Um, even the opening scene, you kind of feel for Logan quite a bit more um, when he gets out of his car and they're taking the tires off and uh, I would that scene definitely you kind of know you kind of feel more for him like he's you know he's getting old and you know he's not able to heal the same way as you kind of see in the beginning of the film he's still healing still healing a little bit better at the beginning of the film as opposed to near the end because he gets sicker throughout the film right um and uh the scene where he's trying to pull his claws out that definitely hits you harder in black and white so a lot of these scenes could have easily been done in black and white um like in the original film i think i've said that. i think i'm probably beating the beating the nail on the head now but anyway um, yeah, so that's where I will end off this review because I've basically gone over the whole story already. So, uh, as always, link to my uh, Instagram account in the uh, description. And I will see you guys again later today with a, another review of, uh, with, well, sorry, with another review. And the review will be of Doom. So, bye-bye for now.